Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in and today we're going to be talking about Cisco DevNet and network automation and why every networking professional should take notice of what's happening in this field and they should also take a ride on this wave of transformation. As always, thanks for tuning in. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and tell us more content that you want to see on this channel. For everyone else out there, Cisco DevNet or network automation doesn't matter because the networks are not large enough to need any automation or you don't do any repetitive tasks on your network often time again. But think again, my compadres. If you don't evolve with the times, your career will die a slow natural death. Just like the exchange operator, the milkman, the airplane listeners, and the knocker up. Enough of that. Now, what is Cisco DevNet, to be precise? Cisco DevNet is Cisco developer program to help developers and IT professionals who want to write applications and develop integrations with Cisco product platforms and APIs. While there are a lot of network automation platforms out there, just like Chef, Puppet and Ansible, you can learn how to automate on these platforms on an individual basis. I've decided to check out what Cisco has to offer in the Cisco DevNet courses. Mind you, they still teach about the Chef, the Puppet and the Ansible in these courses. Now bear in mind, it doesn't mean that if you learn automation using Cisco DevNet courses, it means that you are stuck and tied to automating Cisco gear. You can also use this knowledge on other platforms and to also automate other vendors as well. Now the question is, why should you do automation? There are lots of reasons why you should do automation depending on the network type that you have and your role in a specific organization. Some of the reasons why you will do network automation include configuration back, compliance monitoring and verification, vulnerability assessment, performance monitoring, and network orchestration. So what will you learn if you take the DevNet Associate Fundamentals course? The first section is gonna be about software development and design, where you're gonna be talking about software development, of course, and software engineering best practices and you have a massive nine hours worth of video content to go through. You will also talk about the XML, the JSON and the YAML. The next section is going to be about understanding and using APIs. Mostly you're going to be talking about REST APIs but you will also deal with HTTP response codes associated with REST APIs. The next section is going to be about network fundamentals. And if you're already a network engineer, then this section shouldn't be much of an issue and we won't talk about it in this video. However, the next section is going to be about application deployment and security. Here you have a whooping 10 hours worth of video content where you will learn new things like containers and microservices. You will also learn about examples of deployment in a test and production environment. You will also talk about security and vulnerabilities associated with application deployment, including the OWASP top 10. The next section is gonna be about infrastructure and automation. Well, you will learn on platforms like the Puppet, Ansible, and Chef, and you will also talk about ResConf and NetConf. The last section is gonna be about Cisco platforms and development, where you're gonna be talking about the capabilities of Cisco network management platforms and the APIs, including Meraki, Cisco DNA Center, ACI, Cisco SD1, and NS. So after going through this, it would seem like a networking professional is changing their role to a software engineering profession, but that's not it. Like I said in the beginning of this video, if you do not evolve with the times, your career will die just like these four careers that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. But you have the power to change that. As always, please like this video, subscribe and leave a comment and tell us more content that you want to see on this channel.